Hey, 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 everybody. Okay, what day is it? Sunday. So let's do a Sunday look. I've already done my pre-makeup routine, which is setting spray, primer, let it sit for a good five minutes, and then I went over it again with setting spray, and it really just sets your face, sets your pores, all that fun stuff. So let's go in with some spray foundation. Okay, just two spots. My skin, you know what? My skin does not care that I'm 43. It is breaking out like I am 14. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Hey, Kelly, how's it going? I am okay with the fact that my skin wants to act like it's 14. You know, it's okay. Because I've got fabulous makeup, number one. And number two, I really don't care anyways. <laughs> I'll take the youth. <laughs> I have a friend here. Just so you know, she doesn't want to come on camera, but, uh, yeah. All right. Always, always, always make sure you do down your neck. Okay. Now let's go in with some bronzer just a little bit. And let's see. There we go. Like so. Like that. Perfect. Just a little bit of bronzer. You don't need a ton or anything like that. I just find it adds a little bit of lightness. So we're going to go with some contour. Okay. And going underneath our cheekbones. Whoa, that was really heavy. Don't worry. I will blend that in because that is way heavier than what I normally do. I don't know what happened there. All right. And along our forehead. And then I like underneath my lip. So let's blend it in, okay? Take a really big brush and voila, you see that? Looks so much better now. All right. And going along our neck, blend it underneath there and then along our forehead. Perfect. All right. And I'm just gonna go all over my skin with this brush just because you know your girl loves it when it's all blended in. Hey, Cassandra, how's it going? I hope you guys are having a good week after Christmas. I know I am. We had a great Christmas, did some of our regular traditions, and then just some new ones, I suppose. And I just used the Blush Sweet. I don't know why it's yellow looking because it doesn't look yellow where I am, just FYI. All right, next up, we are gonna do some cream to powder highlight. And I'm using my ring finger and just sweeping it like so. And don't forget to check out the steals and deals on my unique website. Um, there are some highlights there and everything, and it's so good, like such good deals. So next up, we're gonna use the shade Benevolent in the powder highlight. Powder luminizer, I think is what they call it, but it's a powder highlight. Okay, and then put some right on top of our lip there, and it will make your lips look, I don't know, more there. All right. From our sponsor, Coca-Cola Zero. <laughs> I love Coke Zero. <laughs> I think my friend enjoyed my little joke too. No, I love it. I'm not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Hashtag. All right, so we're going to go and do our brows, and I'm just kind of filling them in a little bit. And then I want to show you the difference that it makes when you do your brows. Okay. All right, see how they just look a little bit more put together? That's what we're talking about. Okay. And... Doing the same on this eyebrow. Just small, light strokes. Just filling it in just a little bit. You don't really need to use much. Doesn't take long to do it, but it makes a difference when you are doing your makeup, like with your final look. All right, there we go. Oh, I'm loving my hair today. I did my... Um, Waves on this side a little bit different. So yeah, but you know how I love texture with it. So, all right, what palette are we gonna use? Hmm. Are we gonna do a simple eye look today? Probably. They are my favorites, what can I say? 
I do like a nice simple eye where it just really shows off my eye color. But you know what? We're gonna do a different palette today. We are gonna use, oop, I wanna use Gingerly. So we're gonna go with the shade Slick. Okay, that's this one. Hey Shanda, how's it going? Okay, and we're taking our blending brush and we're using that shade Slick and we're going all the way over our eyelid right up to our eyebrows. So this is how I like my makeup looks to go. Okay, and we're just going all the way, as I said. Now you could finish with this and be done, but I am gonna add Gingerly because it's such a gorgeous color. So that's this caramel color. I 100% recommend it. I think you will love it if it's still available because I know that it went on the retired list. And we're using that fluffy crease brush and we're just kind of going back and forth along the crease. I don't know what she's giggling at, but. <laughs> All right, here we go. And then we are going to go with the blending brush now and really, really blend this in. Okay. That's the astronaut pattern. I heard about that. Where did you get it? Um, here we go. Making sure we like the colors. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Now I am going to do my inner corner with the shade Covetous. It is such a beautiful color. Super bright and brightening. Look at how pretty that is. But the final piece will be. I'm going to do black eyeliner on my top waterline and just watch the difference here. Okay, so this is the way it is now. And then what you do is you go to your outer corner and as you're blinking your eye, try not to stab yourself like I just did. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm real. That's all I can say. Yeah. All right. So look at the difference again. Not by stabbing yourself like I did. But look at how much darker my lash line looks and how much more just kind of smoky the eye look is now. There we go. There we go. Oh, she says she has some mouth on her. I have a friend that goes, I say, that's some funny in that. And uh, she's like, it must be a Nova Scotia thing because she has some family that's from there. And uh, I was like, oh, maybe it is. But I never noticed that I said it. But now I did notice. Okay, so I always like to go and comb my eyelashes first before I go in with my mascara or primer. So we're going to go with our primer today. And we're going to do 4D. I want my eyes to really pop. I don't know if she's laughing at me. I'm laughing at my jokes. <laughs> you know you're funny when you laugh at your own text messages. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so if you have a new uh, bottle of 4D, you're going to want to wipe off a lot of your product just because so much of it is packed into there and it can be too much for like the first week or two. And then after that, you don't have to wipe any off. So that is my mascara tip for you today. Okay, I like to do two coats. So this is one coat that I've done, okay? And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do another coat after I do my other side. What is up with my wonky eyelashes today? All right, now I'm gonna go and do my other coat on this side, okay? <laughs> watching Seinfeld and it's the episode where they go to Florida and stay at her uh, or his parents house at the condo at Del Boca Vista and uh, the astronaut pen in that oh yeah so funny okay so apparently I brushed these eyelashes much better there we go Okay, so that's one coat. Now I'm gonna go in with my second coat. All right. 
And the 4D mascara has fibers in it. Oh, peekaboo. No, you can't see you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. This side, I think I'm having a case of the Mondays, even though it's a Sunday. Because it's a little wonky, but it still looks good. Okay. Uh, oh, and guess what? Even though nobody ever reminded me, thanks a lot, but I finally remembered to go and find my other lip glosses. So we're going to use the shade Lovesick, and I just spilt it on my floor. What the heck is that? I told you, it's Monday. Okay. <laughs> There we go. You're hot. Okay, here is today's makeup look. I love it. My eyes are so big and noticeable, and I love that. And that's the look I was going for. So I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to show you my outfit of the day. And I hope you guys have a great Sunday. I know I will. Bye.